Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin, and firstly, thank you for watching this video. Today, I want to talk about developing a training program for new podiatrists when they join your team. And I think it's something you really got to give it a lot of thought, especially if you have a new graduate starting with you or someone that hasn't been out for, for a lot of years. You need to develop a really, really good training program. Now, I do a lot of coaching in this particular area, so I'm going to explain one little snippet that I think is really, really important, important to actually understand. Now, what you have to think about, when someone new starts with you, where do you want them be? Where do you want them to be within a given time frame? So if a new graduate started, are you have you set a training program up that in 12 months, they're going to be really productive? Now, if they're with you for two years, you've got 12 months where you're doing all the training to make them productive, and then you get 12 months productivity out of them. But what if you could shorten that to three months? If you could put a training program together that you could get them up to speed within three months. I used to do it with all the podiatrists that came to work with me, new graduates, that I could take a new graduate and within three months, I could have them as productive as someone that had been with me for five years. You need to develop something like that yourself. And the benefit is if you can speed up the process to be three months, you then have nine months plus another 12 months of getting productivity out of them. And therefore, they are worth a lot more to your business. And I know some people get worried, oh, what if I train them and they leave? And everyone would have heard the saying before. What if you don't train them and they stay? What's the point of having someone working with you that you do not get up to speed as fast as possible and, and continue to work on that training and make them really, really productive? Because when they do leave, I know I used to have people that called me up and say, had somebody used to work for you. I know that they are going to be good. I just need your ticket of approval. Go, yep, they were fine. And because they knew the training process that I took people through. So it's important for you to ask yourself the question, where do you want them to be in a given time frame? And also ask the person who's working with you, where do they want to be in a given time frame? Because I think it's, it's really important that you're on the same page. If you're wanting to hold them back and have them seeing mostly general work, doing any nursing homes, home visits, very few MSK or biomechanical type patients, because that's what you want to do. You want to keep all the good stuff for yourself. Ask them, is that what they signed up for? Did they sign up to do all the work you don't want to do? And then they start losing some of their skills and their confidence in those other areas of podiatry. So I think it's really important. Never have a team member or a podiatrist over you to do work that you would not do yourself. That's one thing put together a really good training program to get their skills up as fast as possible to be a really productive member of your team. And I tell you, it will pay dividends time and time again. So I hope you get something from it. And if you have any questions around training your team or what my training program and all that was, just reach out to me, send me an email, tf at tysonfranklin.com. And I will talk to you again later. Bye.